Hey, what's up, guys? Happy Wednesday. Happy Hump Day Wednesday. Hope you guys are doing great today. Uh, got a good workout this morning. Just finished my workout. I want to talk to you guys today about weathering the storm or storms in our lives. Okay, so I'm going to use a weight training uh, analogy, but then apply it to, our, to any goal or vision or dream you might have. Okay, so... You know, this whole thing we're in, this whole pandemic, you know, this shelter in place has got all of us feeling weird, right? And I'm, and I'm kind of down, right? I, you know, I'm, I'm kind of in a funk too. You know, fortunately for me, in some ways, I can't wallow in self-pity for too long because I have a team around me that needs me to get into the huddle, metaphorically, Right, get into the huddle and, and convince them that we're going to win and convince them that we're going to drive 80 yards for a touchdown. So in my life, in my family, with my boot campers, in my motivational speaking, I am the guy who has to get into the huddle and get on the knee and convince the other 10 guys in that huddle that we're going to go 80 yards in two minutes and score a touchdown. Right, but that's hard. Right, because I'm not always confident when I come into the huddle, that we can indeed go 80 yards and score a touchdown, right? I have my times too where I, I, I wanna wallow in self-pity, I wanna go in the corner, I wanna cry, I wanna, I wanna talk about how bad things are, how, how unfortunate how I, I, I am, how unlucky I am, me too, right? But I'm gonna give you guys a little secret to how I get through those moments, right? So today, I, you know, I didn't wanna train or coach my two classes, right? I was in a funk. I was feeling anxious and, and sorry about myself. So I didn't want to coach. You know, luckily my kids did the morning class and they gave, and they brought the energy for the group. And then my eight o'clock Zoom class where, where I can see everybody, I, I, wasn't, I wasn't my normal self. I was feeling kind of down, feeling kind of out, right? And then after that, I had to get my workout in. Right? So imagine, imagine that after two hours of coaching somebody having to generate energy to get my workout in. And so I kind of just plowed through it. It wasn't my best workout ever, but I got through it. And here's the secret. You have to learn to weather the storm. You have to understand that oftentimes all you have to do is weather the storm. Right? You have to expect the inevitable times in your life on your way to your journey where the, where, where the chase and the hunt and the, and the journey is going to be challenging. And you have to know going into it that you have to weather the storm. I'm going to give you guys a perfect analogy. Right, The Golden State Warriors, I'm not a Warriors fan at all. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm here in the heart of Warrior country surrounded by Warrior fans. I am not a Warrior fan, but I'll tell you this. Right in the heart of their, of in the peak of their, of their, of their run, of their dynasty, could nobody mess with them. Right, but if you watch every single game, there were many games where they were down ten points, twelve points. Right, they were going the road, and and the energy in the building whenever the Warriors showed up was 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 high. So there would inevitably inevitably be a run that they went on in the beginning of the game. During the game, there would be times where the energy in the building that was all anti-warriors fed the team and allowed them to go on a run, right? But what happens in sports and what happens in life is that inevitably, the better team normally wins. Inevitably, the better person normally wins, right? In a fight, there might be, a, you, know, you know, two guys battling, right? And, and, the, and the lesser opponent might get a few shots in, but, but inevitably, the better fighter, the better team normally wins, right? But you have to be able to withstand those moments, to weather the storm so that when you, when you finally get your, get your bearing straight, you're not down 20 points. So when the Warriors, you know, went on a lull and were, and were disengaged and the opponent ran off 10 straight points, they didn't even stress. Right, Kevin Durant and, and Clay Thompson and Steph Curry, they didn't even stress because they know the firepower they have. They know they're the better team. 
So when it got to the huddle, said, you know what? All right, time to go, guys. We're better than them. Let's do what we do. They came back, and they went on a run, and they ended up winning the game more times than not. But they had to weather the storm. Right? You have to weather the storm. So I know, I know I'm going to get through all these moments that I go through. I've been at this thing for 30 years training. And I look back to when I was 15 and 20 and 25 and 30 and 35 and 40 and 45. There have been many moments I didn't want to work out. Right? But if I had chosen to, to not work out because I didn't, it didn't feel right, I didn't feel good, it wasn't perfect, then I would lose the battle, the ultimate battle to be the best version of me. So in those moments when I'm feeling like crap, like today, I know I'm better than my subconscious. I know I'm better than that voice that tells me, take it easy, you know, go sit in the corner, go watch television, go lay in bed. I know I'm better than that. Right in the moment, he might be going on a run. That voice might be beating me right now, scoring 6, 8, 10, 12 unanswered points, but I know I'm better. So I come back in there and I get through a workout. I weather the storm because I know in the end I'm going to win. But I cannot, once I decide to come back and play and be, and be re-engaged, I can't be down 30 points. Right? I can't disengage from my dream and my goal and expect all of a sudden to come back when I'm down 30 points. So the Warriors can come back, right? Because they're better than most teams, or used to be. So they can come back, but they can be down 30 and come back. They can be down 25 and come back. So you have to understand that when you're in these, in these troughs of your vision and your dream and your goal, whether it's to write a book, to lose weight, to get a degree, to be a starting point guard, to build a business, there's going to be many times you don't want to do it. Many values in that journey. And you got to tell yourself, I'm better than this. I know it. My subconscious knows it. I'm better than this. And then weather the storm. And have faith that you will win. To have faith that you will make it. That's the key. And I'll end off with, and I've said this on, on other videos, I'll end off with a biblical reference, a biblical analogy, a biblical metaphor. If you trust in God, if, if you trust in the fact that you are special, if you trust in the fact that that dream or vision you have of the best version of you is legit, is for real, is yours, is ordained to you from birth, if you believe that, and you should believe that, because if you think it and believe it and, and, and have it in your heart and spirit, it's yours. So if you believe that, it's yours, and you're going through a storm, here's what it looks like in my head. You sit in a boat, and right beside you is the Lord. Right beside you is God and Jesus. And, and, and he's saying, you know what? I know it's storming. I know that. I know it's hard. I know you don't want to work out. I know you haven't lost weight in two weeks. I know you don't want to study for your test. I know you don't want to go back and, and make those five sales calls. I know that. You're in the boat right now. And you're in a storm. I know that. And, and the boat is, 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 is filling up with water. And you're scared. I know that. But trust me. Haven't I brought you through all, all the other Storms you've been through, haven't I brought you all those, through all those? Haven't you come through a lot of stuff already? Haven't you come through valleys in, in chase of this dream already? I know I have. I know there's at least 200, 300 times where I wanted to quit working out in my life. At least 300 times I wanted to quit. At least 500 times I wanted to stop doing speaking because I couldn't do it. At least a hundred times, I want to stop trying to be a great parent because I sucked at it. At least a hundred times. So if you came through all those, what's one more? What's one more valley? So, so you, you're in the boat and God's telling you, look, I done brought you through all that. Just trust. I bring you through this. Right? We're in a storm, right? Just trust. I'll help you weather it. Right? And that's the faith you have to have in yourself, in your spirit, and in God. 
that I'm in a storm, I get it. It ain't fun, I get it. I want to quit. We all want to quit sometimes. We all want to quit sometimes. All of us. All of us want to quit. Michael Jordan wanted to quit. Albert Einstein wanted to quit. We all want to quit. Right? The Warriors, when they're down 20, want to quit. Montana, with under a minute to go in the Super Bowl, wants to quit. But they know what they better. I'm better than the moment. You are better than the moment. All you got to do is understand what you're in. You're not in, in, a, in a loss. You have not lost. It's just a moment, a storm. And all you got to do is weather it. Weather it. Fight through it. Think through it. Cry through it if you have to. But keep pushing. Right? Because just like the last one you came, you, you went through, you came through. Like the last 12 you went through, you came through. Like the last 20 storms you went through, you came through. You're going to come through this one. Right? And your dream is worth it. But you can't say, you know what? I'm done. And let that, and let that momentum of the other side build up to the point where you can't come back. If I quit every time I didn't want to work out, and then decided to get back to it when it felt good, I would never be where I'm at. And I'm somewhere, I'm somewhere. I would never be there. Right, if I quit every time I stuttered on a talk or didn't speak well, I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be here. Right, so yes, other times when I turn the, the, uh, the phone off and I wanna cry because the damn talk sucked, yes. Are there times where I feel like, you know, especially in the, in the past, when I felt like I'm working out all this time, I ain't getting no bigger, no stronger. If I had stopped then, I wouldn't be here. If you stop now, you will regret it, I promise you. Right? If your dream is worth fighting for, then fight for it. Right? If your dream is worth fighting for, then fight for it. Whatever it is. And just understand that the storms are going to come. They're going to come. But you've been through storms before. I've been through storms before. And all we got to do is fight it. No matter how much it hurts, no matter how hard it is, just get in the boat, trust in the process, trust in you, trust in God, and weather the storm. All right, guys, I love you. Please reach out if you have questions. Please DM me if I can help you in any way. But we all, we're all in this fight together. We all have something to fight for. All of us do, right? I want you to help me fight for my dream the same, same way I'm helping you fight for yours. And part of that is understanding that it ain't going to always be easy. There are going to be some valleys and some storms. But we can do it. We can weather it. And, and more importantly, we have to weather it. So weather the storm, guys. All right, I love you. Have a good day, guys. Bye-bye.